right, so we're going to be heading out to do some fishing tomorrow. So we're in the basement right now whipping up a few nymphs, having a few beers. Going to wake up bright and early tomorrow and get at it. We just got here, uh, parked the vehicle, and we're going to walk down the road here a little bit, jump into the creek at the nearest bridge, and basically just fish our way up to the very next bridge, which is it's a pretty good distance. So uh, we're almost rigged up here. It's really chilly. Let's see what we can do here on the water. So first one of the day, just a nice little brownie, pretty fish, a wild brown trout. There he goes, and he came on the Pat's rubber leg, and me and Doug just rolled up on this run, and we were like, there's got to be some fish in here. It's really nice, a nice little tail out section of water. Just picked up a rainbow, actually. Wow, is he colored up? Got him out of that same run that Dan was uh, just got that brown out of. Beautiful fish. Nice colors on him. You can tell it's winter. But uh, he came on a live the legs pheasant tail and uh, just real low and slow. Got a little bit of split shot on there. Really just trying to dredge that bottom because it is really cooled out. And these fish are real sluggish. Like they don't come, they don't put up much of a fight here right now. Because like I said, it, it's pretty chilly out. Water's cold, but uh, the fish are biting. So we'll keep on keeping on. Working our way upstream. Nice colored up fish. Is that that same fish? I, I swear it might be. He took the... Uh... Ah, no, this one looks a little smaller. Hey, what's that little pink? All right, so we landed another bow to the net. Um, we don't think, actually we know this isn't stocked, um, but there are, this is kind of a trip to an area that is stocked. So we think these fish are probably up here staging for the winter, but I'll tell you what, this fish looks like it's been in here for a while. Really pretty fish. All right, let's get this guy back in the water. What a pretty rainbow, man. There he goes. Yeah, again, so we have two rainbows now. We have one brown. That came on a little pink scud pattern. Um, not sure how good of a scud population is there is in here. We'll probably flip rocks a little bit later, see what the aquatic life is like. Um, but you can never really go wrong with a scud regardless. Uh, it just looks buggy, a really natural imitation. It can represent like a lot of different things. So we keep fishing here and start heading upstream. I was way down below, nice. saw Dan had a decent fish on, came out of this riffle here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a turn and see if we can maybe pull another one out of here. That was a good fish. Best one of the day, probably, huh? I'd say so, that was a nice fish. All right, I'm gonna give this a try. Just picked up another one, about a few casts later after Dan got his, another rainbow. There he goes. Again, they're really, man, they colored up right now. Beautiful fish. But uh, I got mine on that live of the legs pheasant tail too. Just a general imitation pattern. You can't beat a pheasant tail. 
and I guarantee you we're still at the bottom of that run there's gonna be more fish as we go up that was just a few casts in so let's wait and see soft water right where Dan's at right now you can see him bringing his fly right on the edge of where the riffle is and the soft water and that's where those fish were that we just picked up here been a good spot so far is that a fish Just caught the third bow out of this nice little hole here. Um, me and Doug, we just keep going back and forth. We're taking turns fishing this hole. We're catching it on that lobby legs pheasant tail. The thing that Doug and I think makes those lobby legs nymphs work very well and be very effective is it gives a little bit more bulk to the thorax area of your nymph, which uh, something that Greg Hoover, our advisor at Penn State for the Fly Fishing Club, he always says that fly shops across the country suffer from small thorax syndrome uh, and what he's saying is that a lot of flies these days nymphs that are tied have a very small thorax that isn't natural as far as the proportions of a nymph goes so again that's what we think really helps with those lively legs is it gives a little bit more bulk to your thorax I got, uh, Dan said there were some real deep holes coming up. So I put on a two bit stone with two 70, uh, 764 inch beads, tungsten, and a copper jaw up top. See if we can pull something out of the deep up here. Ooh, ooh, was, was that a rainbow? So we weren't filming for the release, just didn't press the record button. Uh, <laughs> that was... Just so, say, dang it, Dan. That's okay. Uh, but uh, as I was just saying, that thing was absolutely beautiful. And it didn't take many casts to pick him up. Actually, probably my second cast, I rolled a rainbow. But it didn't really have a whole lot of room behind me to set the hook, so it was a really weak hook set. So I just rolled the fish, never brought him in. And uh, Dan's gonna take a turn with my rod because I got that heavy, heavy nymph on. Picked up another one here, a little brown. Definitely a wild fish. Good fins on them, good colors. Yeah, 
There he goes. Wow. Holy cow, dog. Just picked up a nice fish. Check out this brown. Small stream beauty. That is awesome. I love it. One last look at him. Good fish for a stream this small. I'll tell you that. I'm so excited. That was awesome. Yeah, we came to this stream thinking, Dan scouted out two days ago, and uh, we came thinking there's got to be a big fish in here. And we just proved that. that. That's a nice fish. And I'll tell you what, I think that there probably are. That's the great thing about Pennsylvania is these limestone influenced streams that just such a sheer volume of biomass in that stream that you have a potential to just grow a huge fish. So hopefully we can find another big fish like that because that was awesome. We're going to wrap it up for the day. Overall, it was a really fun day. We ended up catching a good amount of fish. A lot of rainbows, holdover rainbows. But we also caught a few nice browns that were definitely wild fish with that one that I caught that was one of the nicest fish I've ever caught in a stream of this size. And overall, it was a really fun day. We thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.